Let's transition over to uh, our next section and hear from experts who are already in, in the field working on various tools for vaccine administration. Uh, Chris Joshi from uh, Change Healthcare, Asif Dhar from Deloitte, and uh, Vinay Gidvani from Pathchek, as well as uh, a CIC Healthcare working at the uh, Gillette Stadium. So Chris Joshi. Thanks, Ramesh, and hello, everyone. Um, I, uh, can, you, can you all see my, my slides here? Not yet. How about now? Yeah, that looks good. Great. So I'm just gonna begin with a quick introduction to Change Healthcare for those who don't know who we are. We are a publicly traded company. Uh, we connect just about everybody in the US healthcare system. People generally don't know about us because uh, we're usually behind the scenes. So we connect to all the major EHR systems in the hospitals like Epic, Cerner, Meditech, or Athena, uh, you name it. We connect to pharmacies, labs, and all the health plans uh, across the country, both commercial as well as Medicare and Medicaid plans. So in some ways we are like a utility for the US healthcare system, connecting everybody. So when the vaccine uh, situation came into focus and we realized that there's gonna be a fairly short window of time during which you would have to vaccinate a lot, large number of people and manage the data that goes along with it, we asked the simple question, what can we do with all the connectivity that we have and all the transactions, the literally trillions of dollars worth of transactions that flow through our networks, can we use that network to very quickly stand up capabilities to support the public health agencies, to support the physicians and pharmacists, and try to reduce the administrative workload that they were all about to uh, face. So given the magnitude of the challenge, we felt like whatever solution we came up with had to be really, really simple. So we began with uh, the simple question of what data do we get today? You know, if you want to do something fast, the best way to do it is to rely on existing interfaces, existing infrastructure, existing networks. So that's where we began. Today, we connect to tens of thousands of pharmacies, really hundreds of thousands of physician offices, and we began there. And these folks typically use us today to send data to public health agencies like registries, but they also use us for claims to get reimbursed for whatever healthcare service they provide. So we went to that data source and we asked ourselves, can we create a credential that can verify the administration of a vaccine to someone and simultaneously also help the provider solve another problem, which is getting paid. So since the vaccine is free, the federal government's paying for it. The only thing that uh, a provider needs to do to, uh, to get paid for the administration is submit a claim to an, to an insurer, whether it's Medicare, Medicaid, or a commercial health plan to receive what's known as the administration fee. So we thought that we could take advantage of that and create an open standards-based vaccination credential that could verify that that shot actually was given with uh, a way of uh, electronically verifying uh, the, the pass passport as we call it. So uh, rolling the clock forward a little bit and I'm gonna show you a demo in a, in, a, in a moment. The design principles that we really tried to adhere to here was first of all, simplicity. We wanted to make sure this was really simple and which meant trying to represent the original source of the data. We did not want to create a database in the sky with everybody's information. We instead felt it was more appropriate to have the verification come directly from the provider or from the pharmacy as a source of truth. So we tried to build a model in which we were not an aggregator. We were actually representing under a business associate agreement, the provider who was actually administering the shot. And that meant that from a privacy perspective, we are trying to be fully HIPAA compliant and try to fully represent the situation that exists today or the relationship that exists today between the physician and the patient with no one else really uh, required um, from a design perspective. We also wanted to make sure that there were no downloads required. We felt that a system that relied on something that everybody knows today how to use, like a text message based system would work best a system which required downloading of apps and setting up of accounts and passwords and all of that would be needlessly complicated. So we try to design around that. And we also wanted to make sure that there was no new workflow involved. So to the extent that a physician or a pharmacist would do the stuff that they would normally do, 
during administration of a vaccine, we did not want to add any additional workflow or paperwork on top of that burden. So that led us to a fairly simple design that allows us to create a credential that uh, can be electronically generated and delivered via text message to a patient uh, and which can then be flashed up on the, on the mobile screen and verified by any party that needs to, to verify that, such as an airline or a school or, or a work site, et cetera. So without that, to keep my introduction here short, I'm going to take you straight to a video that uh, our product folks put together, which explains how this works, because we found that even pharmacies and physicians had a hard time understanding conceptually um, what uh, a passport really means. It was all very theoretical, and until they saw something they could see and touch, uh, it was hard to explain. So here's the video. As an independent healthcare technology company with one of the country's largest networks, Change Healthcare is ideally suited to offer portable vaccine verification. Our network spans physician offices, hospitals, and pharmacies, enabling us to track and report where and when each vaccine dose is administered. When individuals share this information with their doctors and other healthcare providers, it can help to ensure subsequent dosing, where applicable, is accurate. Vaccine verification can also help to convey protection and ensure safety as our country works to return to normal routines. Introducing Change Healthcare's Vaccine Passport, making it easy for individuals to verify their vaccinated status and share it with others. Here's how it works. Once an individual receives a vaccine, they can text the word PASSPORT to COVID or 26843 to get a vaccine passport. After a quick challenge question to verify identity, the individual will receive a mobile web link to access the passport. Click the link and they are ready to go. The vaccine passport includes both the individual's photo and a QR code that, when scanned, will present information confirming their vaccine status. From this home screen, the individual can save the passport app to their phone, share their vaccine status with others, access more information about their vaccination, to save the passport to a phone, the individual clicks the Add to Wallet button appearing on the home screen and follows the prompts. Now the passport is easily accessible anytime it's needed. By clicking the Details button, the individual can share information based on the CDC's COVID-19 vaccination record card, including vaccine type, date each dose was received, where it was administered, and if applicable, when the next dose is due. Clicking the Share button allows individuals to instantly share their passport with whomever they choose, such as a doctor, work supervisor, or family members. Additionally, they can also share the passport with other apps, such as healthcare apps for Apple iOS and Android, and with ticketing and travel apps. By making it easy for individuals to verify and share their vaccination status, the vaccine passport can help facilitate a smooth return to work, school, and all the activities of daily living. For more information about our vaccine passport, contact us today. Well, I hope that was helpful and usually pictures speak louder than words. Uh, so I decided to just show you how it looks. I'll just end with a couple of comments, uh, specifically around uh, what we are trying to do to make this um, so easy to adopt. And uh, that goes back to contracting. Uh, we would love to be able to tie this into a couponing infrastructure like uh, Ramesh was describing earlier. A scheduling infrastructure, we know a lot of states are struggling with scheduling, uh, especially for the mass vaccination sites that they're trying to put together. And finally, to make sure that um, any kind of contracting work um, or business sort of uh, infrastructure that needs to be in place is kept to a minimum so that adoption can happen quickly. With that, um, I'll hand it back 